Hey, what's up guys? Frederick here from the Unity Game Dev. So I just released my new game Jump Zoo yesterday, the iOS version. And I only got 17 downloads so far. So it had way worse than I thought it would do. Um, I was looking at Mr. Jump, another uh, game by this team based in uh, Paris, I believe. And they were making like uh, $20,000 a day, I think, from chart boost ads. I think it's per day. I'm not sure if it's per month or per day. Um, I had high hopes. It's my first uh, hyper casual game. Um, I did, you know, the whole, you know, touch the screen and something happens, you know, very easy to play, kind of hard to master. Um, uh, it was 3D. Uh, I used 3D, but then with the 2D view in Unity. Um, so it's easy to ma manipulate the, the camera and all that, but it's basically, it looks like a 2D game. Um, I had power-ups, like um, the, um, the, the clock that freezes the blocks, and I had uh, the rocket that goes up. Uh, I think it's the first time I ever put power-ups in my, my game. But anyway, I basically built the game to be very close to my, my vision. That's the first time that's happened. Usually I start with something and ends up, you know, something totally different. And sorry, that's my, my dog, Bella. Come Bella, come here, go go. She's chewing on a stick. Yeah, yeah, caca. It's my gamer dog. Yeah, you're a gamer dog. Anyways, um, so, um, it's weird. You know, when I released Animal Rampage, uh, what, maybe four or five years ago, it did extremely well. I did 2,500 downloads every day. Um, so far, I've had about 100 and over 150,000 downloads total. Um, there were some months that made $1,000 for me. And still making some money. It's now maybe down to um, around $70 a month. But I haven't made any updates. So, you know, in total, it's made about twenty five over $25,000, which is not bad. I worked on it for four months. And actually, that's what's keeping me going because I know the App Store is such so saturated. But I had that one victory. And I feel so bad for some of these indie devs that um, have not had that one app, you know, they got that break and it keeps them going because sometimes that's all it takes, you know. So I have that and I've had like four other games and apps and they haven't done too well. So this is what keeps me going to let me know what's possible. Um, but yeah, so I think what happened was back in the day, the app store, the iOS app store used to kind of list the new games. So you kind of had three days where you could make it. You know, people would, you get a ton of downloads just because people are seeing it. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Now you have to, um, <laughs> you have to find other ways, like either uh, guerrilla marketing, kind of like what I'm doing right now, you know, creating a YouTube channel um, uh, to help people out, you know, learn more about the business and how to develop games. And maybe, um, you know, they'll see my games and download them. I don't know if that's gonna work, but, um, and then also, uh, or you can pay for ads, but I mean, you can pay for, uh, you know, pay ad for advertisements, but if you pay for advertisements, you need something like $100,000, one of the articles I read, to really put you up there. And then, you know, you're in the top 100 list and you should stay there because people see you, so it kind of just keeps rolling. But, you know, even if you spend that kind of money, if you had that kind of money, which you don't have, then how do you know it's really gonna work? So, you know, I'm not at that level. Um, but I do believe in this game. It's actually a fun game. It's the first one that I that I made myself that I enjoyed playing like a few hundred times. Very simple, um, but you know, it just it kept my interest. Um, which trust me, I'm very um, critical of my own games. Um, you know, I don't believe in it. Like, oh, it's my baby and it's got to work. I'm not like that. You know, it's just you put it out there. People like it or don't like it. But right now, there's no way to know if people like it because I don't, I'm not getting those downloads. People are not seeing it. It's not in front of people. So I still have the Android. Uh, I still have to release it for the Android. I'm going to work on it this weekend, and we'll see what happens on Android. Hopefully, Android has some other mechanism that maybe a bunch of people will see it, and at least I can get some feedback, you know, see if people are playing it or not. If they don't want to play it, then okay, yeah, maybe it's a crappy game. Maybe you just me and my friends like it um but and my kids yeah but um 
anyways um so i just want to give you guys an update usually i you know i create these uh more professional kind of videos um where i do a lot of research on something and it takes me like a month and i have to type up the blog and do this but i you know i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do that once in a while because it's it's impossible for me to do that if i want to release a video like on a weekly or even a bi-weekly basis so I think this is going to be kind of like this little fillers. So I just sit down on script and I talk about stuff. Maybe you can get some um, something out of it. I hope so. Um, but anyways, um, check out the links below. Go check out JumpZoo. Um, if you have any uh, feedback, um, constructive criticism, hopefully, um, let me know. Um, there's always, uh, you know, I think going forward, I'm just going to, basically be creating a, a bunch of games. Um, I think it's more about quantity, you know, keeping the quality high, high too, but just these simple games and see what works. Um, so I'm always looking to, uh, you know, to improve what I do. Anyway, so go check out Jumpzoo uh, on iOS and maybe in a week or so it should be, I'll set up the, at the, the Android link. Bye guys.